Hello everyone and welcome to Heidi's Home. So today I am making a couple things today that I thought you might want to see. One thing is, is this is the time of year when we have gardens and we have friends with gardens. So I ended up with a lot of zucchini. So I got out my trusty dusty grater that I absolutely love. This thing is amazing for cheese and cabbage, everything. Anyways, you can see there that it is definitely working in grinding up all of my zucchini. In my KitchenAid mixing bowl, I'm going to add in three eggs, two cups of sugar, two cups of zucchini shredded, and then I'm going to also add in one teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and one cup of oil. And then I'm going to put that on my KitchenAid mixing stand, and I'm going to mix that with the flat beater until it's well combined. And then I'm going to add in three cups of flour. And then I'm gonna add in a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I love this recipe because it is very simple ingredients that we always have on hand. So it's that time of year when we have gardens and people give us zucchini and we don't know what to do with it this is a really good thing to make and also too these loaves they freeze really well too so after i get this all mixed you're going to see me I, I have two greased pans so this recipe makes two loaves so it's one for you and one for a friend and i love that concept one for you one for me you're going to place your loaf into a 325 degree oven for 45 to 50 minutes and you're going to see in this video that i'm actually going to make four loaves Now here they are. I'm gonna take them out of the pan so you can see them. They are fresh out of the oven. They are piping hot. And as you can see, it's easy to get them out. And I've got two more coming. Now, if you wanted a taller loaf, you definitely could make one giant loaf if you desired to, but I just did four loaves. Now you all have seen me make meatballs many, many times. So it's one roll of ground chuck and I add in about a pound and a half of hot Italian sausage, some Italian seasoning, some garlic, and salt and pepper, as well as a half of a container of the Italian 
style breadcrumbs. And I use an ice cream scooper to get all of my meatballs the same size. And then I slide these into the oven. Um, I think my oven is on 350 degrees and I slide them in there for about 25 to 30 minutes. And then they come out and they are ready to use. You can even freeze these. I have made these as party meatballs. I have not had anybody at my home that did not love these meatballs. And I have to say, I think this is one of my most requested um, things that I make. Everybody that comes over says, are you going to make meatballs? And my dad says, Heidi makes the biggest meatballs ever. <laughs> my dad, he, um, he likes these meatballs. So in the oven they go. What is awesome about them in the oven is that they render all the fat and it's just sitting there. You just need to make sure you're baking them in a pan that has a deep lip so none of that grease overflows in your oven. So now I'm placing all of my meatballs in one of my largest pots. I think I made a total of 24 meatballs. And then I'm gonna add in a couple jars of my favorite pasta sauce. I'm gonna put on some pasta noodles to boil and that's gonna be dinner tonight. And that is so simple. And the good thing is, is we got two days out of this and understand that I do share with my father-in-law next door. So he got in on it too. Okay, let's do some more cooking. Of course, this is not all done in one night, but we are starting with a pound of ground beef, and I'm gonna brown that. It is a lean ground beef. I'm gonna add in some onion to this, and as you can see, it's kind of not perfectly diced, and that is okay. We're gonna add in some ground um, garlic, you know, garlic powder, and some Italian seasoning, and we're just gonna get this nice and browned up. We are adding in a small container of sliced mushrooms. And if you can see through the haze there, those are sliced mushrooms. And you do not have to cook these till they cook all the way down because we're gonna finish these in the oven. So at this point, I just give it a good stir and then we're good to go. I'm gonna add in a jar of my favorite spaghetti sauce. You're gonna see that I use a lot of spaghetti sauce in my life. Um, we love it. It's inexpensive. This is a good feeling, feeling um, meal. So if you missed that, I put a little water in that jar just to get the rest of the sauce out. I've got one small head of cabbage here in this nine by 13. I sprayed the pan with a little bit of olive oil. Now I'm gonna spread out my mixture all over the top. And you're probably wondering, what am I making? I am making a cabbage pizza casserole and i think it's going to be super delicious we're going to put some foil on this we're going to bake it at 350 degrees until that cabbage is nice and soft now while my casserole is in the oven i'm going to go ahead and start prepping to make some granola and you all know how expensive granola is in the grocery store. And you would not believe how absolutely easy it is to make. And so I call this my two bowl granola. So in the first bowl, I'm combining two cups of almonds, three tablespoons of chia seeds. You can use flax seeds if you like. You can use walnuts. You can use any kind of nuts. Three cups of oatmeal. And I use any kind of oatmeal, so if you've got instant oats or old-fashioned, I do either one. Three-fourths of a cup of unsweetened applesauce is going in that other bowl with a little bit of cinnamon. Add as much as you like. Some vanilla. And then I'm going to add in some honey and some peanut butter. Now, it's about three tablespoons of honey that I add in here. 
you can cut that down if you want to or you can even use maple syrup if you like and now i'm adding in what i have left in this jar of creamy peanut butter now you don't have to add peanut butter i have made it without it but i thought that i would add a little bit of peanut butter because it does make it super yummy and i'm going to combine this in with my oats and then i'm going to put it out on a parchment lined baking sheet and it is going to go into the oven at 300 degrees for 45 minutes now every 15 minutes i take mine out and i just kind of take a spatula and turn it so none of the pieces will burn you will know when it's done it's super easy to tell and then you just let it cool and then you put it in a airtight container now at that point if you have you know picky eaters you can add some dark chocolate chips you can add some milk chocolate chips and you can make it fun and festive you can also add some dry fruit to this um, my husband and i are trying to eat healthier and he's not used to eating these kinds of foods so i'm weaning him in so maybe we'll do some dry fruit on the next round i'm going to add a little salt and in the oven it'll go after my casserole is done Right, casserole is done out of the oven and now we're gonna top the casserole with a lot of mozzarella you can use any cheese you want but I'm using shredded mozzarella I'm gonna lay down the pepperoni and it's gonna go back into the oven till it's nice and bubbly and melted and this this smells amazing When this came out of the oven, it was absolutely delicious. I mean, honestly, I think I enjoyed this better than a regular pizza. And I wasn't doing all the damage <laughs> that a regular pizza does. It is so delicious. Now this is my granola. It's been in the oven about 15 minutes at 300 degrees and I am just trying to move it around on the pan you want to do that every 15 minutes and it comes out like this and then i made up two giant well actually three giant jars of granola there are our parfaits delicious delicious i highly recommend i hope you enjoyed seeing this video if you are new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and yes i'll be seeing you all again soon have a fabulous week